G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, anybody who's got a lathe, big, small, in between, you know you have to oil it, you have to oil the ways, and you have to oil these little depressible oil ports here. Now, to get oil in there can be di difficult if you haven't got the right oil can. And I, I'm a great fan of the old Riga's. The Riga's got a brass tip that you push in and you just give it a pump and the oil goes in. They're good. These work great. But of course, they don't make these anymore now. You can only buy these second hand and, you know, yeah, it's, uh, it's a shame they stopped making them. Great oil can, if you get them second hand, they're good. So, okay, that's option number one. Option num number two is uh, one of these Eagle 66 cans, which I got from uh, from Alan in the UK. He sent it to me. Nice can, once again, second hand. Once again, you've got the, the nozzle and you just pump it in. Does the job. So, option number two. Now, of course, in addition to that, you want to be able to put oil or lubricating liquid under whatever you're turning. So option number three, you get a spray bottle like this, one of these cheapy spray bottles, and they squirt your lube or your carol oil mix onto your job when you're cutting. So you need two, two sorts of oil cans, or you need an oil can that does the whole lot. Now the interesting thing is, I was looking on Banggood, and they actually do have some oil cans on there, oil pots. And in the past I bought a Chinese oil pot and it was terrible, it was horrible. Uh, yeah, it was $10 wasted money, it just useless. Leaked oil, had no pressure, wasn't worth anything. But these are shown to be, or sold as, high pressure oil cans. And they look actually quite interesting. And the thing is they're dirt, 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 dirt cheap. Like one's like five dollars something Australia and the other one's like seven dollars something so I'll show you the two oil cans and we'll have a look at them and just see if they're any good and yeah we'll check them out so here they are Okay, so here they are. This is the cheapy one, which costs the princely sum of five dollars thirteen cents delivered, Australian. That's three fifty US delivered. Here's the more expensive one, which is seven dollars eighty six Australian or American five dollars forty. The cheap one gets a metal neck. The dearer one gets a removable plastic neck. They both have brass tips. One's got an earling, that one doesn't. The pots look the same size. This one's rated at 250 millilitres. This one's rated at 350 millilitres. Hmm. I can't see how that comes about. Now, you can see how big they are in comparison to a, a Riga. So they're about half as big. You know, well, a bit less than half as big. They're certainly they're big enough to do the job. So we get rid of the Riga. Now, when you order this, you can order this with a metal base pot or a plastic, clear plastic pot. This one comes from metal only. They appear to be made by different companies, and they are different. Look at the bottom of the tin. You can see that one's stamped out differently. So they are definitely made by different people. And if you look at the back of the pump, you'll see that The, there's a difference in the back of them as far as the actual plug. You can see they've got a different sort of a key. I'll come in close. Now the cheap one here, the cheaper one is supposed to have the 30% improved seal and uh, well I can't see much difference between them except the end plug. 
uh, what's inside, who knows. The cheaper one's supposed to last three times longer than previously and pump 30% harder. Well, I don't know, maybe. We'll see. But looking at them, if the $5 one is any good, with the metal beak, which I do like, I mean, that will flex. That's not so likely to flex. Uh, yeah, the five buck one looks like terrific value. Now, they're both dirt cheap, but it's a matter of whether they actually do the job or not. It's, uh, yeah, it's very interesting. I noticed nobody's reviewed these, and the text reviews are all positive. Uh, yeah, so even if you can use, you know, Use it for oil or kerosene would be good if you can do both. But if it does oil, well, I'd be pretty pleased. So there, this metal shaft is fixed on this one. But this one, it screws off. So that's a potential leak, leaking spot. Well, you could easily, if it does leak, you could easily put a bit of Loctite or some sealing do, a bit of... Uh, you know, gooby goo on there to seal it, but uh, the pots all screw off quite nicely. What's this one like? Oh, it's a bit of a tighter fit. Yeah, you got a, a pickup, no filter. And this one, this one's got a filter, so. The other one you get a filter. The cheaper one you get the same pickup but no filter. No, there is a difference in them. And the other one came with a dent in the tin as well. A little dent which could have come from posting, who knows. They were both were very well wrapped. I doubt they got damaged in postage. So I expect that little dent probably got put in at the factory. Okay. They grip and feel really good. Yeah. I mean, there's really bugger all difference in them looking at them. You can see, though, that the, even that metal was stamped out differently. This one is not quite as deep. Contour is a bit different. So, yeah, they're definitely made by other people, different people. Let's put some oil in. in well, we'll try this one first and we'll see how she goes. Okay, I've got oil in it. This is the cheap one, the cheapy cheap one, the five dollar one. Put the cap on. See what happens. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She squirts good. Good eye. Let's try the let's try the, the port, see if it goes in the port. Oh yeah, 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 baby. This is uh. Oh, hang on. Uh, it didn't seal too well. Oh yeah, yeah, that must. Be. Yeah, that went in good, no problem. I'll push a bit harder on this. This one's a bit tricky because that bolt goes right through and it blocks it, so. Now it won't go in that one. Doesn't like that one. Oh well. Overall, yeah, it did the job. I do like the way it uh, squirts on. Look at the tail stop. I know that port there's a bit dicky. But that one went in good. We'll try the tail stop. Well, there's no leaks on the gun. It uh, didn't leak around the spout. And nothing sprayed out of there. The tin's not leaking. Nothing came out the back. Let's try this. Yes, no problem. Yep, as long as you get it on square, it works good. So, yeah. Five bucks. Yeah. Ha. Huh. This is pretty awesome, I think. It's 
squirts good, mate. Squirts good. I love it. And, uh, yeah, she's pretty oil tight, really. Okay, let's try the, the more expensive one and see what that's like. This is the $7.40 or 51 Yeah, as I said, it's, it's not as good, I don't think. That plastic spout. Oh, well, I don't know, whatever rocks your boat. Let's try it and see how it goes. Yeah, see, the spout is shorter too. Yeah, squirts are good, pretty good. Not much difference in the squirting. The spout is a little bit shorter. But it pumps it in, no problem. Pushes the ball back and it goes in. Let's try it on this one. Yeah, works good. There's not much between them. This one actually, you can make it line up better without moving the whole can around. So it's really, it's a matter of positioning, but there's really not, not much between them. Now, uh, see leaking oil out of that join there under pressure. I thought that would happen, so that will have to be sealed with some uh, plastic tape or a bit of Loctite or something, but it is leaking around that seal, whereas the metal one didn't. I personally like the metal one better. It doesn't leak, it can't leak. So, yeah, I really don't see why you'd want to spend the extra and buy this one, quite frankly. Oh well, okay, let's try a bit of oil caro mix in it and see if it will actually can be used to uh, pump that onto onto work. I think it probably will work but it, how it does it, it remains to be seen. Here's the, the spray that I would normally use to spray on oil kerosene mix. We'll check out the, the shape of the spray. So you can see how that goes. Okay now we'll try some oil caro the same mix in this little pot and see how she goes. So it's not spraying, it's just squirting. It handles it alright, but I think it's really meant for oil. It feels a little bit uh, less smooth. I don't think I'll be using, um, yeah, you can hear the noise. It doesn't like it, so this is really an oil can for oil. I wouldn't put Carol in it, I don't think that's a good idea. I think it's going to wear it out pretty quick. But for oil, yeah, this little tin, this little pot is, <laughs> five bucks, you can't go wrong, boys. This is really, this is the, the business, it's really good. Yeah. I thoroughly recommend this one. Well, long term, who knows how they're going to go, but you can only try these things and see, but certainly it, it's got no leaks and it squirts and gets into things really well. Awesome. For the money. Right, looking at this later, both of, the, both of these spouts are the same length, so there's no difference in them. And uh, disregard my earlier comment, I must have been coming in on a different angle with this particular one. But I do like this one better. Uh, but once again, this will sort of self-align as it's flexible, but you've got that leakage problem. But once again, that can easily be fixed. But, you know, for the money, ha oh, oh, big difference. This is the one to go for. Uh, it did everything it was supposed to do. It didn't leak. It got oil into the detent ports, no problem. Once you line it up correctly. And, yeah... You know, considering it's a lot cheaper than this one, <laughs> this is definitely uh, the way to go, I think. Now, the, uh, the volume of these, as stated, isn't really, I think, correct. 
250 mil, 350 mil. When I tried to put 200 mil of engine oil into this, it wouldn't go in. So either this is wrong, which is possible, but uh, unlikely, or these are smaller than what they say. Certainly that is nowhere near uh, 350 mil. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter because they hold enough oil to do the job and they're a nice compact little pot and yeah, I like this one. I like this one a lot, and for the money, it's it's pretty incredible. So anyway, if you're interested in these, the link is in the video description on where you can get these. And yeah, I'll be really interested to see how they how they stand up long term. But of course, when you buy this stuff, that's something only time will tell. And anyway, that's it from me. I hope, I hope you found it interesting, got something out of it, and yep, the red one. Okay, see you next time. Cheers.